the amazing thing about the Maasai Mara is it, it's, okay, it's the best place in the world for the big cats, but it has everything else. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's fantastic for elephants, um, all the different forms of gazelles, um, birds of prey, or well, birds in general. Um, it, it, is, it is the whole of African wildlife in this one tiny kind of microcosm. And you will see more in a day in the Maasai Mara than you'd probably see in a month in other places in Africa. And also all those factors made it the obvious choice for we to make this movie. For African Cats to work as a movie, it was essential that our key characters had dramatic encounters with other animals, and that we could capture these incredible moments on camera without disturbing the wildlife. The Maasai Mara is one of the very few places where you can see events like these happen, if you're prepared to wait. We followed our cats for more than two years. Another reason why the Maasai Mara is so special has much to do with the people who have lived here for centuries, the Maasai themselves. This is Maasai land, and this is where we are born, this is where we live with our, with our families. We've lived with these animals for years. Reason being, we as Maasai, we've got cows, we've got sheep, we've got goats. The protein is never a problem to us. For other cultures living around Kenya, that would be an issue. But for us who live here, we never had any need to kill wild animals for food. Therefore, it has been made by our elders a taboo to go and hunt a zebra, a wildebeest, or an impala. That's why in the Mara, the wildlife have lived side by side with very little conflicts with the Maasai. What's more, the Mara also joins the massive Serengeti National Park in Kenya's neighboring country, Tanzania. This makes the Mara part of one of the biggest wildlife reserves in the world. But the animals that live here are very large creatures and they need a huge amount of space to thrive. The long-term future of our African cats depends on crucial places like the Masai Mara, remaining the specially protected areas they are today. <laughs>